Hello Rust developers, welcome to the Rust in 5 minutes videos by The Construct, a channel about Rust. I am Marco Arruda and in this video we will learn about how to start Gazebo with Rust in 5 minutes. But before anything else, remember to visit the RoboticNet Academy, our online academy where you'll find practical online Rust courses using simulated robots. No installation is required, you'll find a link to the academy on the video description. So now let's start with the video. I have created already a project, an empty one, uh, called Gazebo in 5 minutes, video number 1. So let's open it. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one and start using RosDS for free. You have 30 hours every month to run your projects as you wish. Uh, so I'm going to start creating a package inside the simulation workspace. Let's do it. So catkin create package. I'm going to call it my simulations. And for instance, it does not rely on any other packages. Okay. So first thing to have Gazebo running using a Rust package, you have to create a launch file and also a world file. Okay, so you can configure the world file as you want. For instance, we're going to start with an empty world. So let's start creating our launch file. I'm going to call it my world dot launch. Let's open it. And also I'm going to create an empty world dot world. That's the extension for world files for Gazebo. Okay, so let's start configuring our launch file. So I'm going to copy and paste and explain line by line what is happening there. So this is an XML file. Let's put it bigger. Here it is. Uh, we are defining a XML file. Okay. And then we have to open the tag launch because this is also a launch file of ROS. First thing first, we have to define some arguments, the ones that we can change also in the terminal when you are going to launch this file. So first thing is debug variable because I don't want the bug. Also the graphical user interface, I don't want to open it. I'm going to explain further why we don't need it. Also the pause variable, you can change it if you prefer. For example, we can use it as true and the simulation is going to start it paused. Okay. And finally the world name. So we have to look inside our sim my simulations package. Okay. Let's check if the name is correct. Uh, after that slash words because our word file is inside this folder. And then it has to look for a, fo a file called empty world dot world. Okay. Finally, we have to include this launch file from Gazebo ROS package. This package has to be installed. If you are trying to reproduce this video in your local computer, make sure you have this package installed. Okay. And then we have to use the arguments that we have defined before. So for word name, we're using word argument, debug, GUI, paused, and finally use sim time. It has to be done because all the the other Rust nodes are going to use the simulation time as reference. Okay, so let's save it and let's try to run it. So we have to select this launch file. Okay, just a second. We have to define the words. Here it is. I'm going to also copy and paste. You can check also that an empty word is defined like this. Uh, this is an XML. Okay, so basically we have also an XML file. We are defining SDF, which is the standard uh, definition of words for Gazebo. And inside of it, we have a word tag. And then we are including some models that comes with Gazebo. The first one is the sun that provides us some light to, to see the environment and the ground plane. Okay, so let's launch it. And wait a few seconds until we have it ready. So let me explain that in RustDS we are not using the graphical tools because we have GZ server and GZ client. We are only running GZ server 
And then we are using this web engine to show the world, okay? So as you can see, we have the light here, the sun and the ground plane. If I delete the sun, for example, we don't have light anymore, okay? It's darker. So that's all for today. I hope it can help you to understand better how to start working with Gazebo and ROS. And if you like the video, uh, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you.